shit, man. It just made me on. Um, the whole situation just made me wise. That shit just made me wising up. That shit just made me come out here and look at the world different. Made me look at the world how I'm looking at it. You know what I'm saying? Made me not want to entertain the beef and rapping. And I don't want to go through all that because I know what this about. I know what that other side about. I know what when you facing these jurors and you facing never coming, touching ground again, hugging and kissing your family. I know what this about. So that shit just made me look at the world different. Like the shit they glorifying from the rap to the... The niggas, I don't get into all that because I know what this about. These niggas don't know what this about, man. These niggas go to jail, get a slap on the wrist, gun charge, dope charge, come home. They don't know what 55 years and life looking. They don't know what this this about. So I just feel like this shit just made me just look at the whole world different, man. I'm saying now, like you said, a mouthful, but it's like if they keep going down the road, they going eventually, like they gonna be on the they other side of that. They gotta see it though. You know what I'm saying? They gotta, they gotta see it. Like that ain't nothing that, that you can tell them. That ain't nothing. Even somebody that been through it, man. People don't want to hear nobody preaching to them and trying to tell a nigga what's right. Even though I'm giving you the game, so you won't have to go down the same road I went. Motherfuckers don't want to hear that, so they just gotta see for themselves. I had to bump my own head. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers, they gotta bump their own head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, shit, bro, you just recently re released a project. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, what, 15 songs? I think it was like 12 or some shit. I don't okay, know. I think like 12 songs. or 10 or some shit. Now, uh, the intro stuck out to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like one of the ones, like, even like how you did your promo video, like, we almost there. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you really, like, starting to open up more as an artist. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, where, where, when did it, when did it become serious for you? Because, like, like you said, bro, like, you done been through a lot right. looking at, all that time and shit like that, like coming home and being an artist, like the world has changed. You right. know what I'm saying? Even in that three years, I'm pretty sure shit Thanks. was different. Thanks. Shit changed. So like, what made you just just wise enough and want to get in straight artist mode? Cause I, I seen like <clears throat> before I went in that bitch, just rapping, putting music out on YouTube, and going in that bitch and, and, and just sitting back and analyzing the game. That shit only gonna get you so far. So I knew I had to come out here and take this shit serious, get a team behind me, get a manager, get all this shit behind me. And ever since I did that, it's been elevated. I seen what it was going to take for the elevate from just a rapper to an artist. Because yeah. you just putting music out on video, videos out on YouTube and just rapping. You just a rapper. Yeah. You got to go about this shit a certain way to really become an artist and take it and handle it like a business and for people to take you serious as an artist. Yeah, nah, for sure, for sure, bro. Now, nah, bro, I feel like... We 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 go talk about Shreveport, bro, because it's hot right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you one of them artists that like I ain't gonna lie, like a lot of people are vouching for you and rooting for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like even if they not fully out saying they support you, like yeah. when I talk to people, they like concrete, yeah. concrete, concrete, concrete. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So like, how you feel like you built that like solid support system as as you being an artist? You know what I'm saying? It's just organic, bro. Like I was telling y'all camera, like. I'm on some shit like, well, I ain't finna lane switch this shit I got going. I ain't finna, I ain't finna disguise this shit. I ain't finna camouflage. I'm just telling my story, and motherfuckers relating to what I'm saying because they knowing it's true. I ain't getting on this bitch lying. I ain't getting on this bitch talking about straight kidding and all this. I'm, I'm just rapping my life, and motherfuckers is, is, is gravitating towards that. You know what I'm saying? It's just organic. It's yeah. just me just getting on that bitch and just, just, just telling my truth, man. That's all. Yeah. I'm just keeping it all the way platinum. Do you feel like do you feel like your city is uh do you feel like your city on the verge of becoming one of the hottest in the in the state? Yeah, it could. What is it missing? I don't know. Um Is it too is it too much beef rap? No, that's what's gonna <laughs> sad to say, that's the type of shit that that's making it what like, it is though. It, I don't believe that though. Cause like bro, I know about a lot of beef. That I don't cover in Shreveport. Right. I just post straight music. But the main beef, even if we could take it back, I was in the can when all this shit, all the shit that's going on when it first started, I was in the can, I was locked up. Yeah. But that's what really got the eyes on this bitch. That's what really got motherfuckers saying, screaming this and screaming this and screaming. This is the beef. Niggas beefing, niggas rapping about it, niggas popping, niggas buzzing. You know what I'm saying? That's what got the eyes on the city is the beef. You know what I'm saying? So sad to say. Niggas need to keep going. Shit, that might be what, because I was in, I can't say for me, but for certain motherfuckers, that's what's working. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's yeah. all they want. Nah, for sure, for sure. Now, bro, uh, recently in the news, you know what I'm saying, Boosie just got hit with another federal gun gun case. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Being as though you a felon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, seeing Boosie go through that, like, what's your, what was your initial thoughts? 
Man, that shit, that's just an unfortunate situation, dog. Like, it's hard, bro. It's hard, bro. I don't, I don't know. It's like this situation just. They just go to a point like, like niggas just got to be more careful, bro. Yeah. Man, Boosie a legend, but it's like a lot of people was like he. That was like a a, a rookie mistake. I can't say, but I, I really don't know the situation. I just know what I seen and what was put out there. I'm pretty. Why sure. I gonna say a lot of people? The way Boo moved, though, he ain't just on that bitch flashing a rod. He just was a, a that man an OG and this shit. That man a dead time. That man move how he moves. So I'm pretty sure. It was just a force in the situation. Motherfucker just probably caught him on that bitch. It ain't like he got that bitch in his hand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He got that bitch somewhat concealed and, and you know, motherfucker probably, I ain't see the light. Motherfucker probably hit him with the camera and turned. You know what I'm saying? Just, yeah. the internet a motherfucker. That shit just was an unfortunate situation, man. Do you think fellas should be able to uh, bear arms still? Hell yeah, yeah. When I done did all this time in jail, and I done did this, the niggas are allegedly did this and did this to people. And I come home, you mean to tell me I can't bear arms? I can't protect myself? I can't be riding in the car with my kids and protect my kids if somebody try to come up and rob me? Come on, man. Hell yeah. That's a trap. They put you out here to so go back to jail or get your ass smushed. Yeah. That's the whole, that's their whole plan, man.